Hi, I'm Rachel with Ally Safety. I'm a certified industrial hygienist, and today I'm gonna to be starting with the basics of explaining what industrial hygienists do, what their areas of focus can be, and taking the mystery out of this confusingly named profession. Interestingly, last week I also polled people on whether they wanted to see a chainsaw safety video or an industrial hygiene video. This was on Facebook and Instagram. And the results were overwhelmingly industrial hygiene. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Over the past 10 years, my career has been pretty equally split between workplace safety and industrial hygiene. And when I tell people I'm an industrial hygienist, I usually then need to follow that up with an explanation of what that means. So I was looking for a faster way to explain it, and a few weeks ago I posted on LinkedIn asking industrial hygienists what the simplest explanation of their role is. And out of the 60 responses, here were some of the best. Our goal is to ensure people don't get sick because of their work and work environment. It's like an environmental engineer who focuses on protecting workers' health. Safety worries about what will hurt you today and maybe tomorrow. Industrial hygiene worries about what will hurt you next week and in 40 years. Now, the official definition of an industrial hygienist from the American Industrial Hygiene Association is one who practices the science of anticipating, recognizing, evaluating, controlling, and confirming protection from hazardous workplace conditions that may cause workers injury or illness. Through a continuous improvement cycle of planning, doing, checking, and acting, these professionals make sure their workplaces are healthy and safe. Hazardous workplace conditions can fall into several categories chemical hazards such as fumes and vapors, biological hazards such as viruses and bacteria, physical hazards like heat and radiation, ergonomic hazards like lifting or pushing, and air contaminants like fibers and aerosols. So what kind of health risks are we talking about? Let's start with the most notorious like radiation, lead asbestos, silica, or noise. In terms of our day-to-day -day work as industrial hygienists, we review substances before they're used in the workplace to recommend either substitutions or protections so that substances can be used safely. We take samples to see if the levels are safe once they're implemented and to make sure the work environment stays healthy. We also communicate with management and employees so they understand how to safely work with these hazards and how exposures occur so that they can prevent them. If there are problems where exposures are occurring, we'll suggest solutions. Some industrial hygienists are hired in-house and others, like me, are consultants. Industrial hygienists can help a lot of different organizations. However, according to 2019 data from the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, the largest employers of industrial hygienists were government organizations, manufacturing companies, construction companies, scientific and technical consulting services, and hospitals. So those are the basics of what an industrial hygienist does. Let me know in the comments if you have any thoughts or questions, and if you're an industrial hygienist, Put something in the comments if you think I forgot anything. Also, for those of you who aren't new to this channel, you probably noticed I have a new backdrop. This is my home office and I redid it and I wanted some color and some fun and to be honest, it turned out a little bit girlier than I was thinking, but this is the new one and let's compare it to the old one. So let me know in the comments which one you like better, new or old. Thank you so much for watching and until the next time, I'll see you guys later.